You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 33 of Pwned. I want to say a big thank you because I logged in today and oh my god, I realized that now I have over 2,000 subscribers. You make me so the happy inside, so thank you very much. Wow, I never expected I would ever hit like 2,000 subscribers, so um, really, thank you so much for the support. Also, on a side note, I wonder if you guys have ever heard of this drink called Ex Espresso Coffee Soda by Manhattan Special. This was actually produced in Brooklyn, but there is like a shop in Singapore that sells this. This is amazing. Remember once I actually told you guys about this drink from Indonesia called Tebs. This is from America, and this is carbonated coffee. It's not like coffee flavored soda, it's carbonated coffee. It is amazing. You can see all the gas still moving, and uh, This, this thing is just the best. It sits right up there on my drinks list. And this is number one. And um, very closely followed by Teps. So yeah. Ah, this is good. So anyway, in today's episode of Pwn, I'm going to have to show you guys. Not really have to. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of stuff. Um, uh, so a little backstory for you. So I'm actually helping my friend out, Mark. You guys know him as WRX Looney. So he is setting up like a sister company of sorts from Explorer and it's called Survivor. It's more targeted towards the HVZ crowd. And uh, so he decided, you know, that he would contact me and ask me if I could be kind enough to just review for him like uh, one of the long strike kits. And I agreed. So he actually brought me a whole bunch of stuff. And I thought, you know, just to be fair, I would just show them to you guys on camera. So first up I have with me a pair of long strikes and these are not mine. I want to say that again, these are not mine. Okay, this one over here with the X grip and the whatever the priming bar. Okay, this one is the Explorer Long Strike uh, X Power Kit aka the Sniper. And this is uh, the Long Strike Kit for the Survivor side. Uh, as you can see, he actually wrote down uh, Zombie Slayer in some, yeah, some handwriting stuff. So yeah, the difference between these two, okay, they're both equipped with um, direct plungers uh, made by the Explorer side. But uh, this one over here fires off only Stefan darts and this one is actually made in such a way that it uses back a stock breech. You kind of have to modify a stock breech, they'll give you the parts. And uh, this is for full length standard streamlined darts. So I'm just going to show you guys a quick firing demo before I show you the internals of this, okay? And then I'll tell you the differences between these the internals of this and the internals of this. Right, so I have with me, to be fair, an Explorer clip. This is the first time I'm showing this to you guys on my channel, the Explorer clip. And uh, I have to compare with the Bob's clip because most of you guys have not seen the two of these clips in the same video. So uh, you can see the Bob clip is a lot shorter and that is because this is a 12 dart capacity while this is an 18 dart capacity. And um, it's made out of some pretty good plastic. I don't know what this is. It feels like some kind of an ABS resin and it feels very close to what Nerf has actually uh, produced. So as you can see it's lined up with a whole bunch of darts and these are all the Explorer darts whereas in the Bob clip just now that was the Pack D darts. Okay so um, I'm gonna be loading up into this long strike over here. Oh just a side note you can actually load this Explorer clip either side so it fits both ways. You can load your darts in any direction that you want. Okay, so here we go, a quick firing demo for you guys to take a look. So as you can see, this thing fires off the darts pretty damn well. Four darts left. Um, it's a direct plunger system, so what can I say? It's just like my iteration of the Elite Long Strike. So I'm going to put that one aside now, and I'm going to load up this guy with a standard uh, Nerf clip. Let me just show you guys a clip again. So I'm using lead darts over here. There are a few darts. I think it's all six inside. I'm just going to fire off a whole bunch of them. Okay, here we go. So all darts are out. So this thing works great. As you can see, the velocity of the darts are pretty damn good. This is good performance with an upgraded spring on a direct plunger, so you know you're going to get some good performance. Now, just for the sake of you guys asking, I want to show you guys 
what happens if you use a Stefan clip inside the uh, slip my mind what if you use a Stefan clip inside the survivor kit yeah the survivor long strike kit here we go since the air restrictors are removed there's no dart pack should be able to fire off Stefan darts right give it a shot oh seems like I can't even load it in seems like a jam so far let's see what happened over here oops tip broke sorry my bad gotta remove the foam now okay one more time now I have three dots left okay oh the fire's fine oh another tip broke off there it is As you can see, it's not firing Stefan's as well as it fires off standard streamlines and it's very simple logic because this breech is not sealed at the end. Uh, it doesn't chamber the Stefan's as well as if it was in the other long strike. So at this point, I'd like to show you guys the internals of this baby over here. I've opened it up and I uh, hope you enjoy. So take a look. Hey guys, so what I have in front of me is the Explorer for long strike sniper kit and I've opened it up you know taken the liberty to do so and I want to share with you guys what this is on the inside so uh, as you can see uh, everything's being laid out nicely I'm just gonna I guess take it all out start with this and remove this part there we go okay and uh, this is the uh, apparently this is the new catch plate so as you can see it's a single piece and it's a molded plastic okay that sits right there and you can see this little yellow part over here these are I guess it's got a bit of rubber on the edges and these are to actually hold the plunger tube in place because you can see uh, it's to prevent any wobbling because the whole slot is so long um, oh yeah forgot to mention right here you see this uh, whitish piece that is a, a sort of a guide to help with the uh, whole plunger tube, uh, plunger rod itself moving back, so that's to guide the plunger rod through, okay, so this is, uh, this probably is an 8kg spring, and I'm uh, just going to take it out so you guys can see, this is all made by Explorer itself, the plunger tube too, and we're going to remove this breech area, okay, so they've basically uh, created a breech, as you can see, uh, there's a little, uh, lip over here that's to help with uh, feeding the darts in and uh, this is the stock bolt slab but it's been cut down okay so it all goes in like that and uh, this is the uh, barrel area so it's supposed to fit like that there we go and that creates a pretty good seal actually as you can see it took me some effort to pull it out so yeah so this is a so-called sealed breach and uh, yeah that is it that is the internals of the X power for long strike sniper kit all right alrighty ID welcome back so uh, now that you've seen the internals of this guy the difference between this and this is basically just the breach now if you saw that inside the internals here it's like a I guess it's kind of like a copper breech then it has a molded tip and it also has a, a barrel over here with the receiver, the dart gate that's all like molded and stuff that is the only difference between this and this alright this uses a stock breech system uh, direct plunger and of course you still need to actually modify your uh, bolt sled so don't forget about that so that's the main difference uh, I will provide links in the video description below for these two so if you guys are actually interested and you don't you know I guess you don't have the ability or the means to actually perform your own elite long strike mod like I did in my previous tutorial check out this link over here then you guys can go ahead and might consider putting down some money for a drop-in kit the good thing about it is it is a drop-in kit you just open up your long strike put in the, in the new internals close it up and you're ready to go so I guess you're paying mainly for that um, I would I mean I would say that it's oh it's alright it's a pretty good product you know so you guys can just consider okay 
uh, what we have over here is the uh, X, the Explorer X grip for the long strike, and we also have the I don't know what is this, the X Explorer charging handle for the long strike. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names, so I'll just put everything in the video description below. If you guys are interested, go check it out. The price list and everything's all there. Uh, please check out the website for full details before you decide that you want to put money down for these. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, once again, these are not my long strikes. They were loaned over to me by WRX Looney, aka Mark. Uh, thank you for these. Now, moving on to the next product that I want to share with you guys. Now, one of the other products that Mark actually passed to me is his own long shot. And this long shot is equipped with an updated version of the whole long shot Explorer X Power Kit. And apparently, right now, it's a sealed breach. So, uh, I just want to give you guys a quick firing demo first. Okay, um, actually I want to give you guys a quick seal demonstration first, so as you can see, it's still, it's, it's still, a, it's still a copper barrel over here, um, yeah, just don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, I believe that this is running a 14 or an 18 kg spring, it feels like it, I don't really know, but uh, hopefully that you guys can actually see the new, uh, longer, I guess the channel for the dart, the dart feeder, the dart pusher. And it goes in all the way. So this is once I once I close it up like that, I have to apply a little bit more force to be able to pull it up. And that's where uh, the seal uh, comes in, a new seal breach. So I'm gonna lock it up, and then I'll let it go so that you guys can actually uh, hear the difference okay, in the seal. Once again, it's not it's not a hundred percent. It's about 90, 95 ish. But I just want you guys to know. Okay, damn, it hurts my thumb. So that's what it is, that's how much the seal has been improved, okay, especially that part. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick firing demonstration. Uh I don't know. I should just use this, okay. Well I have another Explorer X Power Clip. Explorer X the Explorer X Clip V2. Or is this is V3, I don't know. Alright. Okay, the tip broke again. But you guys can hear the sheer sound of it, it's amazing, it's actually making dents in my foam. So this thing has some pretty good seal, some pretty good firepower, it's bound to get pretty good ranges. Okay, I'm not gonna, I am not gonna do this whole comparison thing, you know my reasoning, okay? So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Next thing I want to share though, okay, is that... I'm not, I'm not going to open this guy, but I just want you guys to know that basically the internals reflect uh, very much what we call a so dizzle breach or a PETG breach and I've made both of these and you can check out the videos over here uh, in the annotations. If not, you can also check out Papatachi's uh, so dizzle breach which is quite which is quite amazing anyway. So um, I do believe that this, this improvement for the seal part, the seal breach, is based off the same concept as that. So... Um, you're not able to use standard size full length streamline darts in this system okay you can only use Stefan darts and that is also the same limitation that a soul diesel breach or a PTG breach leaves you with so uh, it's just for you guys to take note I did not check how much this was retailing for but I'll also put the link in the video description down below in case you guys are interested in getting it from Explorer same thing the whole the whole idea is for you to actually get a kit that you can just drop in and go. So it's um it reminds me of Russell Peters. Take it and go. Just take it and go. Take it and go. Okay, okay, anyway. Um so yeah, basically that is it. If you guys are actually able to make a so diesel breach or PTG breach, it's the same thing. So um for those of you not able to do it, or if you don't have the skills to do it, then you can consider getting this. Right, so this is not my long shot. Once again, this belongs to Mark WRX Looney. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for driving all the way down and dropping by my place. And uh, yeah, I just, just want to put this and set the record straight for you guys out there. I'm doing Mark a favor because Mark is my friend. Okay, above all, Nerf is all about friendships and Mark is my friend. Moving on. I've busted out this guy again after a long time and I've uh, performed the mods that I wanted to. I've basically taken the best of all of those uh, products that I had so far and I'm uh, using an, uh, a full Remedy Metal plunger tube and breech system but I'm using the 
orange mod works um, plunger rod and plunger head and for the plunger end cap I'm actually using a modified stock plunger end cap because I had to remount the insides and well so make everything fit and uh, I would say that the per performance the performance has actually improved because now the plunger rod itself is not as heavy as the uh, remedy metal plunger rod so that gives for a slightly less friction less load I don't really know how to explain it right now I'm just rambling on but you guys get what I mean and uh, big shout outs to uh, my buddy Corey for actually coming out with a homemade whole plunger rod thingy for the remedy metal kit and uh, I can't wait to get one from you would you would you consider making one for me Corey please so yeah anyway uh, the reason why I busted this guy out is because you know I have this with me the bulb clip and I also have this with me the explorer clip and I just want to fire these I just want to fire darts out of these two clips just so I can show you guys okay so of course I'm gonna start with the bulb clip because it's always been the clip that I've been using these are the explorer darts so they're all purple tipped as you guys can see okay purple tipped so I'm gonna fire off a few darts from here just to see how performance is let's go Wow. Okay, it's making dents in my phone too. Oh, man, you guys can hear that. So, uh, I don't know how. Can I take this out? Am I able to? Uh, okay, so it's out. This is done. Next one, the Explorer clip itself. Okay, here we go. Okay, so same great performance I'm getting out of this. It's amazing. It's crazy. And the last thing that I want to share with you guys in this episode is something that I've been looking forward to very much. Made by none other than Kronos Nerve Mods and that is the 3D printed Y. Now, please take note that this is not the final iteration of the 3D printed Y. The final one, if you guys are interested, or his hopeful final one, you can check out this video over here in order for you to go and take a look. If not, you can also check out his channel. And in my right hand is a standard 45 degree Y. Now, I'm going to compare these two together. Okay. Now, you can see that the angle of the Y is very different. The 3D printed one is a gentler slope at 35 degrees. And that is definitely going to help in feeding of darts. Okay. Now, the final one does not have this extra stub over here. Uh, because he actually took some feedback from most of us. And most of us said we don't want this thing. Okay. We just want a standard Y. To put the Y aside, uh, if you actually have worked with a standard Y for a hopper system before, you'll know that at the front where you fit your PVC in is a hard edge and oh, in this 3D printed Y, it's flat and it's ramped up at where this uh, part of the Y hits and that also is to help with dart feeding. Right, so now um, I want to share with you guys that I'm actually ripped something up very quickly. I didn't really have the time to go and dig up my old homemade blasters with more powerful air delivery systems. Uh, and please take note that there's a whole bunch of dead space, about maybe 4 inches worth of dead space over here. Okay, it's not very good, it's not very optimal. Oh wait, let me just squeeze this down. So about 4 inches of dead space over here is not very optimal. Uh, and I do apologize, but uh, it's all for demonstration purposes, okay? So I just want to show the difference to you guys between a standard Y and this particular 3D printed Y. Okay, for the standard Y, you guys have actually seen all my modified hand cannons. They perform in a standard way. All right, so I have a bunch of darts, dart types that I want to that I want to be firing off. So the first type of dart that I'll be firing off is standard slug style Stefans. Okay, here we go. Grab the cap, load the two darts in, white foam followed by pink foam. Cap it up. Here we go. Firing demonstration time. First Stefan out with no problems. Second Stefan out with no problems. Good. Now the next type of dart that I'll be using in this firing demonstration is surprise, surprise, a pair of full length streamlined darts. Now with this gentler slope or the gentler, you know, angle of 35 degrees in this new 3D printed Y, it should be able to fit. And I mean, it should be able to feed streamlined darts. So now let's just try it out. The moment of truth. Okay. If it fails, it fails. If not, well then. Then we know the potential of these things, right? That'll be a whole game changer. So here we go. Streamline darts in. If nothing fires out, 
I'll try a few more times and see whether this thing actually feeds, okay? So, here we go. Let's check it out. Nope. Try it again. Yes, Streamline Dart fires out. Will the second one fire though? Wow, it fired. Haha, -ha, so this thing actually feeds Streamline Darts pretty well. Good job, Kronos. Kronos Nerve Mods for you, everybody. Uh, this is... This is amazing. It's very surprising and this is something I've been looking for for a long time. So now, you know, it's like when I go to a wall, I don't have to worry about just looking only for Stefan darts. I can also pick up and fire off any full length darts and this is really good. Um, if you guys are interested, go hit him up and um, I'll be waiting and waiting till the final product is uh, ready for sale and production and I'm going to get myself a whole bunch of it. But uh, big ups once again to Kronos Nerf Mods for actually you know, sending me some of these amazing printed PVC Ys. So you guys, this is, I think, a very big step in the nerfing community. You know, in the whole, um, yeah, well, it's a very big step, an advancement in the technology that we have nowadays for this whole nerf game. So, yeah, hoppers, good. I like it. So that brings us to the end of this week's episode. I uh, just want to say a big thanks once again to all of you for all the, you know, unending support. 2,000 subscribers is a number that I really did not expect to get. So I really have to thank you very much. Uh, cheers and here's a toast to you guys. This is really good coffee. Manhattan Special Espresso Coffee Soda. If you guys have some near you, especially for all of you guys in the States, you guys are lucky. This is hard to come by here in Singapore. If you guys like today's episode and you're not subscribed, I hope you guys will consider subscribing. Uh, if not, then just stay tuned for the next episode, which should be coming up in a week's time. Till then, have a great week ahead. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you soon. Peace.